I don't often watch romantic comedies, you know, they're just not my thing. But you know, every once in a while, I take the risk, I take the chance, and I took the chance on Romantics Anonymous. And people, you need to take the risk too. This is a wonderful comedy. It's about two people who work in the chocolate manufacturing world and both have emotional nervous conditions and they found each other, but will they fall in love? And as we all know, love ain't easy. And when you're crazy, it's almost impossible. Romantics Anonymous is gonna keep you laughing from the prologue to the credits. It's one of those films that doesn't have a moment of, gee, I hope this gets funny again, because it's funny all the time. And they use the humor to enrich the romance. Yes, we have two nervous people here trying to come together. There's some hijinks to make that happen. And in those hijinks, we're laughing. And that laughter makes us care about the characters. And because we care about the characters, we laugh more. I absolutely loved watching Angelique and John Renee coming together because of the main actor's performances. Now, I'm not saying that the director, the writer, and the rest of the cast were rubbish or, or just not as good they weren't. Everybody does an outstanding job in this film. But our two main actors really are the source of making you care about this story, really getting into the side of love about these two divergent people trying to come together and hilarious things are stopping them and hilarious things are happening because they're coming together. And people, I can't say it enough. You need to watch Romantics Anonymous. I'm sorry, I guess I am gushing, I guess I am raving a little bit about Romantics Anonymous, but I can't help myself. This is a hilarious movie, and you know what? It rekindled the hope in me that I'm going to find my true love. She's out there somewhere. I mean, there's somebody out there for everybody, right? Mine's just, you know, probably doing time in prison for assault and battery. That's who I am, people.